This is Good News with Don and Cheryl. What kind of kid would rather sit in a crummy classroom than be out here? What kind of father goes fishing when he should be looking for a new job? Fine. Fine. And don't forget today. What's today? Election day, dummy. Well, I'm not even registered. I registered for you in the mail. Well, that's great. I could get jury duty now. Boom, 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 boom. Mr. Johnson, your vote didn't count. You're entitled to recast your ballot in a timely manner. How about if I just whisper to you then? Right here, we get over with right now, and you can listen to it. <sighs> Those men last night? Let's not tell anybody. regular ballot is holding up a final decision for the American presidency. So many. One American citizen will effectively choose the next president of the United States. This is OJ big. Bigger. All we have to do is win over one American mind. I want to know what he reads, what television shows he watches. Welcome to the party, bud. People really like you, bud. <laughs> This film really surprised me. I had a lot of emotions in it that I really wasn't expecting. I kind of expected to just laugh, and it kind of made me realize I have an important role in a political process in America. Yeah, I think we do, and I think it gets lost, and it man the movie manages to do that without beating you over the head, and mm -hmm. it sneaks up on you, and, and it takes you what a, a good movie can, which is on an emotional ride. But, oh, oh, but. But. There's some people outside. People? The movie runs a, you know, it takes that big premise, which it comes down to one vote. We think that's probably pretty improbable, but it is possible. But given that, most comedies swing off a big idea. That's our big idea. Everything we do after that has a lot of humanity to it. It's pretty clever, and it, and it, and it takes you on a great, great ride off of that. Y'all are a good family, make, doing the best you can to make ends meet, a single parent, and a very, very bright young girl that is uh, very idealistic about America and politics. I read about you in the paper. They said you'd do anything to win, even if it meant selling your mother's soul. If you met my mother, you'd understand. Did you learn a lot making this film? Um, yeah, I did. I really, I learned how important it was because especially in um, the one part where we're reading the letters. You should read all this mail you've been getting. People are writing to you for help. I can't, I can't help these people. You can speak for them. People can't afford to live and uh, get sick and they can't pay their bills. Bye! You used to stand for something. It really showed me how important it was even for kids even though we can't vote. What are we about? Winning. <laughs> Because if we don't win, you can't do what you set out to do. When I read Swing Vote a while back, I thought, wow, I have this little secret. Yeah. You know, and I don't know any of us out there that when we don't read a great book or hear a great piece of music that the next day we share it with somebody. You know, I read the best book last night. I know exactly what you mean, Andy. Hopefully that's how people feel about Swing Vote. You know, I saw this movie last night, and uh, I'm either going to go back or I'm going to take somebody or I'm going to tell somebody about it. That's what you hope happens with when you make a movie. The only question now is, who are you going to vote for? Remind me again who's uh, running. <laughs>